Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas. Today, I'm gonna teach you how to do the infinite 360 spin, AKA barrel roll, AKA that cool Stranger Things effect using your Ronin S. Let's get it. Okay, so I've been using my Ronin S for about three to four months, but I never tried out that awesome Stranger Things effect, AKA the infinite spin, AKA the barrel roll. So recently I figured out how to do it. And I want to show you guys how to do this. So let's take a look closer. So on your DJI Ronin S, and I'm sure it's the same way with the new Ronin SC that they release. I'm working on the Ronin S right now with the GH5, which is my go-to setup. But when you turn this bad boy on, you see three different things right here, di different modes. And if you hit the M, you can go through different ones. So what I'm gonna show you is how to preset this effect. So go on to number three. Once we have that, we're gonna go into our Ronin app, which is right here. Download it if you don't have it. I am team iPhone, shout out to team iPhone. We're gonna go under configuration, control settings. And as you can see, there's three different channels. Okay, you got channel one, channel two, channel three. Now remember, I told you guys to select channel three. We're gonna click it, and we're gonna put this at roll, okay? It's probably at NA right now, but we're gonna put that at roll. And this is just bonus stuff you can do if you wanna do max speed high, dead band. I didn't mess with any of that. And that's how you set the roll. Now, once you set the roll for channel three, you will then be able to do the barrel roll. Now, this is what you're gonna wanna do. You're gonna get your gimbal, okay? It's on option three, double click it, and you're gonna wanna put it in flashlight mode like this. You're gonna wanna double click the trigger so it's straight ahead, just like so. Once you're there, this switch, we're gonna hold. And we could go infinite left or right. And you're just gonna hold that thing down. And this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna get a barrel roll. And you can hold down. I like to hold down the trigger and hold it down. And you can get your shots. Now, I did a lot of testing with this and the best results came from filming at 60 frames a second. So I was able to make it look even more buttery in post-production by putting slow motion on the 24 frame timeline. And I also noticed that when I walk slow, you know, feet over foot and really keeping it steady, it helped out a lot. I noticed that when I filmed in a small tight alleyway, the effect look way cooler, but you guys can see some examples and this is how that infamous Stranger Things effect is achieved. So I hope this quick tutorial was very helpful for you guys. If it was, please don't forget to smack that like button for me right now. And if you wanna see more tips and tricks like this video right here, as well as other Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials and unboxings and gear reviews, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, we made it to a thousand subs. I look forward to igniting and growing this community way even more. Don't forget to ignite. See you.